Have you ever experienced any balance issues? Maybe you've lost your balance or have even suffered from a fall. My name's Chris, physical therapist with Buffalo Rehab Group, and I'm here to help you avoid these down the line and make sure things don't happen again. Now, like I talked about before, balance is a very, very common complaint that we hear every single day in the clinic. People lose their balance, whatever might be happening over time. Balance isn't what it used to be. Now, there's a whole horde of reasons why, but one of the most common reasons why people lose their balance is because the muscles that help them stay upright aren't as strong as they need to be. So if my legs aren't supporting the rest of my spine and my core isn't engaged, whatever else it might be, my balance can suffer because of it. Or if something's stiff and I need to stretch it more than I should be stretching it, things tend to not move the way they should. The body's natural mechanics get out of whack. Sometimes that's when people suffer falls. Furthermore, just practicing balance is one of the most common ways that we can help with this. And I'm gonna show you a great exercise to, to really make this hit home and, and to practice your balance. Now, it's a very simple exercise, and all we're gonna do is work on training the muscles that contribute to this balance. So, what I'm gonna do is, first and foremost, when I'm doing this, I wanna be upright. So I wanna stand between a doorway, I wanna make sure I have a couch or a table next to me, something like that, in case I do lose myself, I can kinda of hit something and, and make sure I'm not falling or anything like that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna put it in front of my left leg in a perfectly straight line. Now, if that in itself is a challenge, what you can do is you can bring the heel of your right foot back a little bit. So, if you're not in a perfect line, you can kinda of modify it a little bit. But, for the purposes of this exercise, try your best to put the, the right leg fully in front in a straight line. Now, bend your knees a little bit and keep yourself nice and fixated upright. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna kinda of make a fist and I want you to kinda of go one, two, three. Counting with your right hand, we're gonna go all the way to 20. Now naturally when you're doing this, you might feel yourself kinda of wobbling and moving around and that's okay. That means we're working the muscles that we wanna work. You're gonna do 20 with that and then you're gonna switch your feet. So put the left foot in front of the right foot and we're just rinsing and repeating. So we're putting, same thing. Count with your right hand all the way to 20, okay? The next way to progress that would be to reset yourself and then get in that same position. So the right foot goes in front of the left foot. Now instead of going in a straight line, straight in front of you, what you want to do is you want to kind of cross the body and same thing you can count with your right hand. Just a kind of a different plane of motion to kind of make the body move the way it's supposed to move. Same deal, 20 that way and then switch the feet, repeat that process there. So if you do those, really the balance should be helping out. And again, I like 20 times on, on both of them and then switch to the crossing 20 times each way will really help you out. Now if you're finding that maybe you need a little bit more help down the line and, and you need a more individualized approach, head to buffalorehab.com, one of our physical therapists can really help you out.